Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of King Frederick William Koko, Mingi VIII of Nimbe. Right from time, rulers have risen and fallen, empires raised and destroyed. However, some events won't be forgotten for good, while some will be remembered as unfortunate in history. Whatever the case may be, the story of a man who features in the Dr. Doolittle books of Hugh Lofting, that is, 1886 to 1947, appears to be among those that can never be forgotten. King Koko, who converted into Christianity by the British settlers in the early 1850s, became king of his native land, but renounced Christianity as required by traditional rites and fought painstakingly against the domineering Royal Niger Company. Koko was born in 1853 in Nembe Town, Niger region, now Nigeria, and thanks to the early European settlers, who built a missionary school where Koko received basic education. He later joined the movement as he went on to become a school teacher, which favored his kingship call in 1889. The leading chiefs of Nimbe, notably Samuel Sambo, Spiff, and Cameroon, were Christians who supported Koko's rise to power. As of early 1880s, the European traders had settled on the coast of Nembe, trading with the natives of the town, but Nembe wasn't as rich in economy as Boni and Calabar, who were neighboring towns. Nembe was mainly rich in palm oil, and they had refused to sign a treaty proposed by the British, opposing the Royal Niger Company's aim of bringing all trade along the kingdom's coast into its own hands. In this mix, Frederick William Koko began to reign as king from 1889. By 1890, the Royal Niger Company began to treat the people of Niger Delta unfairly, meting out aggressive actions to exclude any form of competition, denying the men of Nimbe free access to trade on the coast, and disrespecting the natives by pushing them off the market front. On the 29th of January 1895, King Koko was displeased by the actions of the European settlers. So, he first renounced Christianity, then formed alliance with Boni and Okoma Kingdom to strengthen his force to resist pressures from the British. He launched an early morning raid with more than a thousand Ijo kinsmen to attack the Royal Niger Company's headquarters at Akasa. They successfully destroyed warehouses and offices, vandalized official and industrial machines, and razed down the entire depot. They captured about 70 men, in which 25 were killed, 32 white men were taken hostage to Nembe as part of the spoils of war, while 13 others were not accounted for. However, King Koko negotiated with the company requesting for free trading conditions for his people in return of the hostages. Despite his efforts to find a common ground for both parties, the British refused Koko's demands, which resulted to the execution of about 40 white men, slaughtered in cold blood at the Sacrifice Island on the 30th of January, 1895. Now that the battle flag was raised, the Royal Navy replied with a brutal counter-attack against Koko City of Nimbe on the 20th of February 1895, raising down homes and killed about 300 natives, while the massive outbreaks of smallpox killed many more that same year. After the heavy defeat, towards the end of April 1895, Things got back to normal as King Koko surrendered all the cannons and machine guns looted from the early raid in Akasa, the headquarters of Royal Niger Company, and prisoners were released also. In April 1896, King Koko refused terms of settlement offered to him by the British, which was termed an act of outlaw portrayed by Koko. The city of Nembe feared another brutal attack could be launched 
so they strongly defended the Niger stations in preparation for a sudden attack. Luckily, there was no attack. Instead, a reward of $200 was offered to King Koko, who now feared his life was in danger and fled to Etiema, a remote village in the hinterland. Thereon, King Frederick William Skoko lived the remainder of his life in exile and eventually died in 1898, but was believed to have committed suicide. What have we missed out of this biography of King Koko? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.